This is the scooter of our Design of Cyber-Physical Systems class. Down here we have an electric engine, and then this is the data collector, and it tells you the speed you're going at, the voltage, the how many watts you're using. The whole class project was about designing an intelligent charging system. Using the intelligent charging system is really easy. Tell the web what's your next destination, where you're going to go, and when you are leaving, click Optimize, and by the time you are ready to leave, your scooter will be ready. What we ask the students to do is to commute around campus to their normal daily activities. So they would go from their dorm, to the classroom, to the gym, so that they could understand exactly what their energy and mobility needs were. They then took that data to think critically about what is the optimal way that we need to charge an electric scooter. In addition, since we're working the Invention Lab, which has all these beautiful machines like 3D printers and laser cutters, each student had to do a project using the tools in the lab. Then there was a software component where they deployed this into the cloud. And in the back end, the system has in it the hourly varying prices of electricity on the energy grid. It also gives how much of the energy that's on the grid is renewable, is clean energy. What gets computed is a schedule to charge your scooter so that your cost will be minimized, your clean energy will be maximized, the amount of energy that you need to get home will actually be present in the scooter, and the scooter will be ready and charged by the time you need to get home. It's, it's a really hands-on kind of class. You get to do with the hardware, which is basically the scooter. You ride it around school to collect data on sensors. And what you do is you process the, the, the data on the cloud which is basically the software part, and you put them all together into a system, which is basically what systems engineering is about. Uh, civil engineering, this isn't the usual part of the curriculum, and uh, it, it, with the maker movement, it's important that the students get some experience working with their hands. So these students in this class, from a computing point of view, they get to build the entire computing chain, all the way from the low-level embedded computing that controls the device, to the large system that sits in the cloud, so you can actually control how the scooter is charged from anywhere in the world. 